Hi everyone, thanks for joining me for Fall 20 Banks Journal. The line has been expanded quite a bit this fall, um, meaning there's actually more SKUs in the lineup, as well as a slightly wider range of products, um, a little bit more Canadian fall uh, friendly pieces, which is nice. They always have some, but we've got quite a few this time around, which is great. Um, yeah, and just really good additions. There was a slight uh, adjustment to some of the sizing, um, and that is in the sizing notes uh, that came with the order form and the catalog. It's very minor. It was just like some of the pieces that were a little bit more slim fit have been more generously cut. Um, but uh, they are all noted in the catalog as well, so if you don't see them there, there's nothing to worry about. Um, other than that, pricing continues to be excellent, and um, having just finished No Show, there's quite a few pieces that really stood out, so I'll point those out as we go. Um, they're ones that make a lot of sense. Actually, pieces like what I'm wearing here, which is a reverse fleece, uh, some of the trans-seasonal stuff, and uh, the puffy, and there's a lot of good stuff to show you. So let's get started. Uh, the first part of the collection is our artist series. Which, this one is with Kristen Texera. Um, there's a little bit of information about her at the beginning of the catalog. She makes some really cool stuff and she works out of Brooklyn. Um, the first pair of board shorts there is the Kristen Texera Elastic Board Shorts for $38.50. Just like a really cool patterned wash down, almost cubism kind of look. I like it. Next up is a crew neck, $43.50. And just like the other Artist Series pieces, they are pointed out in the neck uh, with a woven in label that's screened. Uh, they look really nice, just like super premium and it does speak on the rack, which is great. They will also have a hang tag that does point out this being the Artist Series, which is a black hang tag. We've got a T of that same print, dirty black, and the T is $24.50. Of this series, the crew neck has been booking well, um, and then this bone colored T, uh, is it actually called bone? Yeah, bone. $24.50 as well, it's a really nice piece. Just like excellent wash down, you can't feel the prints at all. There's that little Banks Journal Studio label there on all the Artist Series pieces. So we're out of that collection after this hat, which is an embroidered cap. Dad cap still doing really well. $24.50. And that is a snapback. Excuse me, one more thing. There's your tote bag. And that does have the internal snap for closure and a little pocket for cell phones and separating your change. And that guy is 17, wholesale. Moving into the reworked collection. This is the Perini label tee. Another one of our like travel inspired pieces, pointing out where the shops are. I believe in holiday we'll start seeing a Hawaii here because if you're paying attention to banks online, they just opened a store in Hawaii. 1950 for the black and the white. I don't have the white sample, but the crew neck is 41. No hit on the back. Into our staple series. 3850 for the color block. Green and black. This is a really nice one. This is more of our surf inspired, so scallop opening on the on the hem, the vintage piping. I believe these are 100 percent excuse me, 54% cotton. I thought this was one of the recycled ones. It's not. Four-way stretch, great dive piece. $38.50. <clears throat> if 
Best selling silhouette, Big Bear Walk Short, $36.50 for two colors. Now, the catalog makes the cedar look almost brown. It is very much more a green. Um, I believe that will come up better on uh, the video. I had a, a bunch of people mention that. It doesn't look, it's not brown. It is a very much like a nice, deep cedar green. <laughs> so these continue to do really well. The silhouette sells very well and they keep bringing it back each season with new colorways. $36.50 there. And that's 98% cotton cordura and 2% elastin. Across knit, which is out of order, 46, 50% wool, 50% nylon. Very nice. And that's the cedar colorway. It only comes in that one. And then your staple caps. There's your new color, which is cedar also. Snapback at 1950. So you'll notice as we go, the collections are kind of they are put together in colorways or in like the tones that they're available in. So the next one we're getting into all these really nice baked clays. This is the pathway walk short for $36.50. <clears throat> this is 55% linen, 45% cotton. Elastic waist, nice little flat pack pocket with uh, Velcro there, with the little drain holes. Although I don't think you would really go swimming in something like this. This is very much a walk short. Really nice piece. Into a more performance board short, this is the primary. These are 90% recycled polyester and 10% elastane, 3850. Our performance pieces usually have this style of zipper with the plastic tabs. There's the drain. That logo also tends to be on all of our surf stuff, just the smaller banks bar. Just that little hit there at the front. Attention to detail is important. P uh, FSC recycled, uh, <clears throat> FSC recycled poly labels are still in everything. We're still doing as much as we can with recycled and reclaimed uh, materials. Oh, primary sock is next, excuse me. Excuse the explosion you might have just heard on the uh, video. That's from a company in uh, Blaine or Seattle, somewhere in Washington, called Hermetic Solutions, and they just did some explosive welding that shakes my house. <laughs> anyway, that's the, how these come. Um, this is the primary sock in baked clay. One size fits all. 10 bucks, 10 for 20. Primary tee, the pocket tees always do well. 1950, comes in black, white, and this new baked clay. There is your black and your white. Label T, also 1950, three colors. Baked clay, cedar. Love the wash on the cedar. You can really see it in the, uh, the taping on the neck and just all the seams kind of, it really gives it like a rich green with almost like hues of gold in it. Really like that color. Um, and then the ochre is your other colorway. Who next or next? Show me how to in order. There's baked clay, thirty-six fifty. Heather gray and dirty black. Preston Fleece, this has been pulled by a lot of accounts. Um, I had it at this hanger in particular turned a lot during the show. Uh, the baked clay being the one I'm talking about, getting turned all the time, 34. Great price, really nice waffle. 
like I said, our trans seasonal stuff tends to do really well in fall and holiday, and these ones have been performing. I've seen orders for them already. There's your navy. And the off-white, also been turned quite a few times, so I see a lot of those coming in. Very nice. Tote bag, $14.50. These are carryovers. No more plastic bags next year for Canada. And actually on the island, most of the places I go don't have plastic bags anymore. So having a good tote bag, got to have it. Label Stable T, $19.50. These are just your solids of that Vance logo. There's your white, other gray, and black. These are carryovers. Thirty-six fifty for the Destiny fleece. This piece was turned quite a few times as well. Um, I haven't seen too many orders for it, but there have been coming in. This is a like full-on, uh, one hundred percent organic cotton. It's a French terry towel. Um, just to give you an idea of kind of the texture of that. It's really nice, super soft. I definitely wouldn't wear it to a dinner party uh, if there's red wine involved, but it's really, really nice. So nice, the hand especially. But again, 36.50, that's a killer price for a full French terry hoodie. Good weight too, it's not too heavy. It's a nice light kind of transitional fall piece. The towel we've seen, 26.50. Still have it. Roy long sleeve knit woven. This is also a carryover. <clears throat> I didn't skip any of that. Oh, we did. Excuse me. I went ahead. This. First. Excuse me. Uh, label fleece 3850. Is your dirty black? That is a small embroidery, not a. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. It is a print, not an embroidery. <laughs> There's your dirty black. There's your other. And ochre. <clears throat> There's the Roy long sleeve that comes after the towel. 4350. This is like a micro cord. It's actually booked fairly well in the past and I can't see why it wouldn't book for fall again. I especially like the buttons on it. They're a really nice tonal green on that cedar. Nice and dark. They look almost army green and they actually have the bank's general inscription on them. Um, <clears throat> the white noise knit, oh, excuse me, vision fleece is a carryover style, new colors, um, here's your bone. This is new. This got turned quite a few times. Um, this style in general is one of my favorite in the line. The dirty black was like a charcoal wash of this piece from, I'm going to say Holiday, is one of my like all-time faves. I wear it all the time. There's the actual dirty black, excuse me. I believe it's called dirty black. Yep. 34. Just a super wearable, layerable piece. I get compliments on mine all the time. Great. Uh, white noise knit, 43.50. <clears throat> this is also considered bone, but uh, ribbed hem, cuffs. Just like a really nice woven kind of melange in there. Turned quite a few times. I know we already have orders for it. Glitch knit, also forty-three fifty. I'm gonna have to bring this up close to show kind of the depth. It has a kind of grid work woven pattern to it, so you can see kind of the chain link here. A few different patterns going on in this piece. It's really nice. Fairly light. And obviously form fitting. A 
<clears throat> the foster fleece. Now, this sample is, is technically incorrect. And I'm going to show you what it should look like. So the sample came out really dense as far as the black versus the white speck. It's going to actually look like that, uh, which I think will look much better, and it's going to sell if it looks like that. This is just a little bit too hectic. Uh, that was 41. And then the piece I'm wearing, which is called the dashboard fleece, um, this is the new standard crew. So it's a relaxed body. It's a little shorter than previous. This is one of those pieces where they made an adjustment where these crew necks here are here. So this is a longer fit than what I'm wearing. That's the label from the staples. Yes. So in the past, this piece was much, much longer, um, like almost two inches longer in the body for a medium. And now you can see I've washed this piece. I wore it at the show and I've just been wearing it. It's really nice. It's a reverse. It is a reverse fleece, so that is the actual ter the French terry on the, the inside. So it's purposely turned inside out. That goes there. And you can see what I mean by that. It is a fleece material. On the inside, super comfortable, nice and warm. Um, yeah, and it did it washes down pretty well. It is a short, boxy fit. That was 41, 100% organic cotton. Big bear fleece walk short. So there's that speckled black. This is really nice. We've done that fleece jogger short quite a bit, 38.50. Uh, and then we're into the primary long sleeve woven. Quite a few accounts point this one out. Um, 29, so price-wise really good, quarter button, and hopefully you can see that. There's actually some depth to that green. It has almost like a yellow, like a light sheen. It's not just a straight green. It's very nice. 29 is really good for that too. Oh. Tooks, primary B. Baked clay, ochre. And then 1950. 43.50 for the primary next fleece pant. This is my favorite bottom as far as the joggers we've done. Um, I love this piece. Really nice. I just really like that pattern. It looks super comfy. And the cut's really nice as well. And they're $43.50. The downtown check pant is also $43.50. These are our slim tapered crop fit. It's not the most crop fit uh, in the line, but uh, yeah, this is very nice. New hang tag on the back pocket for at retail that outlines what it's all about. And we have a jacket in this same houndstooth grid coming up. Again, 43.50 there, 50% cotton, 50% polyester. We're into the beach club now, so some of the printables. This is the holiday tee for 22. Some great beach vibes here. Thirty-four for the captured board short. This is a 17-inch out seam. I'll start pointing those out as we go through here. Uh, 
Oh, there's the white of the uh, reworked collection. That should have been way back here. Outland T is next, twenty-four fifty. Really nice woven stripe. And this is the travel knit. This got turned quite a few times as well. Uh, Forty-six. This is a 7GG, 100% cotton. I believe 7GG is actually like 680 gram. Um, has some really nice, you can kind of see that detail on the shoulder there. Hopefully that'll focus. Coming through, it's not just a straight black. On the front panel there, you can see that hiding so that they can accomplish that detail. And then we have a T of that same print, 22, nice washed black, 100% organic cotton. Travel board short, also supply 17 inch out seam. That's your bone, bone white, great little flower. Floral detail, same silhouette as the previous one in the capture board short. And I said 34. 34. We're coming into some linen pieces here now. This is the Harvest Walk short, also 17 inch out seam. 70% cotton, 30% linen, 220 GSM. And then we have a resort collared harvest short sleeve woven. This is the new standard resort fit. Has more fitted comp collar, or camp collar, excuse me, he calls it camp collar. I always say resort collar. Um, and it's relaxed in the body and it's slightly shorter. So this is one of those ones that was adjusted um, where they were a little longer and a little more slim fit before. And that's 41. Long sleeve, harvest long sleeve woven. Also the same change is happening there. Relax through the arms the previous versus the previous standard fitting shirt. That one's 43.50 for the long sleeve. 19.50 for the beach club tee. This got picked up quite a few times, actually. Twenty-four fifty for the Notify T. One hundred percent organic, organic cotton here as well, and that has a Banks embroidery above the pocket. Haven board short, 38.50. A side piping on just the one side. Nineteen fifty for the burn tee, two colors. No back hits, just that chest hit. And then there's a crew neck of that same print, 38.50. The blue got turned there quite a bit, so that's been on some orders. <clears throat> Undisputed long sleeve woven. This is 43.50. I really like this piece. It's 100% cotton. Um, the fit and all that stuff is great, but what I really like about it is the weight. Uh, this is like a, doesn't say it, it's like a brushed cotton. 
it's really nice. The hand is excellent. The fit's really nice. Um, just like almost more of an overshirt, I'd say, for our climate. Really like it. I love the square pocket detail. That's one of my favorite pieces. Forty-three fifty. Um, this is the Brighton long, uh, short sleeve woven, forty-one bucks. Baked clay and off white. These have linen in them. Uh, Thirty percent linen to be exact, and seventy percent cotton. Coconut buttons on both pieces. Thirty-eight fifty for the dual board short, still seventeen-inch out seam. This is a two-way stretch. It's got a fun pattern on it, stripes and circles. Twenty-two for this cap. That's a micro cord, very similar to the cord that's on the Roy long sleeve. And this one is actually fabric, fabric strap and brass furniture for the closure. More tees, more surf inspired uh, logo in here, the Heart Circles t-shirt. The Heart logo being the logo that uh, Jared Mel created by cutting out a bank sticker that was sent to him when he started with the guys. He thought the heart looked better. I think he's right. 22 there. Out for the Merrick shirt. Just the front hit. Great crew neck. This is the Heart Circles crew. 80% uh, organic cotton, 20% polyester, 300 GSM. Very soft. Nice back hit. This is a screen. There's that French terry on the inside that is on the reverse of what I'm wearing. 38.50 there. We're into the marine utility. So lots of blues, dark blues, and light blues here. Uh, board short for 34. That is the most price point board short in the line. Quite sure that's the cheapest one. So washed blue with an islands motif on it. And these are still 17 inch I would seen. Here's your matching button up for that. And that's 41. This is a cotton gauze. Um, looking at it from my angle, it is a bit sheer because it is the cotton gauze, but it looks good. Especially for where you'll be wearing this, light and breezy. But you probably won't be wearing this in November in Saskatchewan anywhere. So. Marine tee, 1950, uh, 30 denim and off white. I have both colors, yes. So just that little island hit on the front and the back. Out of order. Excuse me. Okay. Wash denim jacket, 70. This is the doubled. So uh, corduroy collar. Full button down washed denim. Banks on all of the buttons. Slip pockets, chest pockets, and the adjustment in the waist for bringing the fit in. Very nice. 70. Good price, too. Cotton flannel, 100%, 43.50, Danish long sleeve woven. Coconut buttons, like the straight pockets, no flap. Looks good. This is 
is rad. 70, 100% cotton, military fit. So the metal buttons on the collars and the <clears throat> wrist closure. This is a heavyweight cotton, um, almost like garage jacket style. I think it actually will wash really well. Um, just those top pockets, everything. I love this, it's really nice. Hunter fleece. When I was talking about how we have some longer crew necks, this is the supreme fitting raglan crew. That's the longer uh, fit. You can see the difference there. That's a really much longer fit. These are lighter weight materials. They're not like a heavier fleece. It's a very light lightweight fleece. This is 34 uh, and it is a cotton French terry. Minimal branding. Just that little logo there moving in. And that's been turned quite a bit. That's going to be on a lot of orders. Uh, parade fleece. This is also 34. It's a transitional transitional piece. It is a slim fit. It is a heavy, it's a heavier piece. And you can see that even in the way it's hanging. It just looks super long. It's obviously a uh, vertical material too, but just holding it. I'm a medium. I feel like hanger peel wise, Maybe after it's been washed, it's gonna come up a bit, but kind of a bit, uh, I think it might be a tough one. You gotta be a tall guy, and I'm not the guy. <laughs> but it's a really nice piece, nice wash. Uh, rib texture, recycled polyester, all that fun stuff. But yeah, you can see what I mean. It does look quite long on the hanger. And that's just the nature of the material, the way it's put together. Forty-six for the listen knit. This is also supreme fitting uh, because it is cardigan style. It doesn't seem as long, or it doesn't it doesn't strike me as too long. I think this is more the fit you're looking for when you're doing something like this. Really nice oversized buttons. This is just a really great marine style cable knit cardigan. Uh, formation hat. So this is a conductor stripe, dad cap, leather strap, brass furniture, 22. And we have the formation long sleeve knit, also in your conductor stripe. Oversized buttons, great pocket detail. These are really nice. And that guy is uh, 48.50. Overgrown long sleeve, washed denim, lightweight, 43.50. Has that contrast gold stitch. It's not too bright though, it's like just right. Doesn't stand off the piece too much. Coconut buttons. Plateau t-shirt. This is a tough one to see in the catalog. $24.50. Uh, the stripe is tight, but not as tight as the catalog makes it look. Stuff like that can kind of play tricks on the eye. So hopefully that is coming through. Little embroidered heart on the pocket. This is the Villains T. Uh, this is a yarn dart stripe. You can actually feel the stripe in the material. Um, it's not a print. It's really nice, actually. The hand on it is excellent. Little subtle embroidered B there, and that's it. Basic. Adobe short sleeve. Uh, sorry, the last two are twenty-four fifty. The next one's forty-one. Uh, this is a yarn dyed check resort collar. Horn buttons, excuse me, not coconut on this one. Uh, 
heart signs T. Now, this is a trader fit. A um, little bit more boxy, not a slim fit. And the material, it's uh, like a really nice, soft and yet thick 100% cotton tee. Um, these are, shirts like this wear really well. Uh, they're pieces you end up having in your closet forever because they just, they don't come apart. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice weight tee. I'm kind of hoping we get some more staples in this kind of fit and in this kind of material because I find they're really great wearing pieces and they wash really nice. They end up being, again, those pieces that you have forever that are like your favorite comfy tee to wear under stuff or if you have a nice solid black one, you can just layer it into everything you're doing, but great piece. Um, and that was a 22, there's your, I only have the one color of that one though. And that's the, I love that charcoal wash black, dirty black, looks really good. Hoodie, heart signs fleece, same print. This is a corduroy jacket, the Decade, 100% cotton corduroy and cotton poplin lining, 70, fully blacked out, including the zipper. I think it looks awesome. There's your poplin lining. Uh, slip pockets. Very nice. Nineteen fifty for the downtown LA tee. These got pulled quite a bit. Um, in fact, these two are turned around still for that reason. Here's your ochre, and that's the address for that downtown LA store that's in the row. Check it out if you have a chance. Such a cool shopping area, right where all the alternative apparel, American apparel uh, factories used to be. Very cool. An amazing bakery to check out down there. Those are solid. And then we have some fleece hoodies that match there. Cedar green, that got turned quite a bit. And your black. The T was 1950, the hoodie is 41. Corduroy cap with the same address on it. The Mariner cord on the brim, snap back. 22. So the Fahrenheit puffer, 100% polyester. It's a casual fit. Um, cool to have actually a insulated from the guys for fall. Nice packable. Kind of more fashion-y fit, not like super slim fitting like you see in a Patagonia. Um, the zipper is rubber coated. Uh, actually, the actual pull part end on the, is fully rubber, but the whole zipper itself has a coating on it. Um, yeah, these are really nice. Has a cool like nylon lining in it. Excuse me, poly lining. But yeah, this is a really cool hooded piece. The toggle strings, detail on the never remember the name of them, but the end of the strings. <laughs> anyway, 89. Uh, got turned quite a bit, and uh, especially in some of the colder climate customers, that one's going to move. 65 for the orientation jacket. Um, this is a 100% polyester. Same thing with the zipper on that. Little embroidery on the chest, tonal, and uh, Velcro pockets, toggles adjustable at the hem, and uh, elastic and button cuffs. And you can wear that with the collar all the way up or fold it down. Forty-six for the monitor fleece. Uh, this is rad. This is a full like 
poly fleece and it has a cotton pocket. Cool polar fleece. Pretty. 46 bucks. Wholesale. Okay. Now we're into like all our floral resort stuff. All the button ups are 41 and all the shorts are 34. They have their matching partners. So there is your flavors. All island flavored, great pieces for vacation, Hawaii, Mexico. And here's your matching shorts. I like this one with the dove on it. And that green one looks great in the short. Okay, 41 for the button ups, 34 for the shorts there. 34 for the sunflower short short, washed black. This is a really nice Japanese feel to it. That's also cotton gauze, 41. And that's called the sunflowers. Nineteen fifty for the cherry blossom tea. This is a great piece. This got pulled quite a few times. I kind of wish we had a black in it. We just have the white. And there's your heather gray. Crew that also got pulled a lot. And the crew is $38.50. I don't have the black, I just have the Heather. $19.50 for the Powers tea. That's my son's name. Crewneck got turned a lot for this one. Powers Crew. No hit on the back of that one. I really like this in the short sleeve and the long sleeve coming up. The Crew's $38.50. This is twenty four fifty. Tony T. Tony T. Hundred percent organic cotton. One forty five GSM. This has a very nice, you can feel the stripe. It's not really, really clear, but it's there. You can feel it in the shirt. Um, I just really like this. I like the bone collar. It looks awesome. Uh, 79.50, this is the EXO jacket. So um, asymmetrical closure, buttons, and zip on the inside. Uh, and that is a cotton lining. Is this whole cotton lining? Yeah, cotton flannel line. And cotton twill exterior. Great detail in the pits there with the little air holes so you don't get too hot. <laughs> Another pair of great 40s. This is the Crafted Ego Collection. $38.50 for the Republic board short. This is the poolside fit. Has the uh, little hidden pocket there. There's the long sleeve I was talking about. $36.50. Tony Fleece. This is a transseasonal technically as far as the fit is concerned. So those are some of the, my favorites and, and we tend to do very well for us is all the trans-seasonal fits, pieces.
41, I believe there's linen in this. Yeah, 40% linen, 60% cotton and yarn dyed. And we're nearing the end here. 2450 for the borderline tee, and that's in the baked clay and the black. Great little chain stitch embroidery on the chest there. Very clean. And there's your collared quarter button polo of that same baked clay, same embroidery on that piece. And that one's 29 in long sleeve. This silhouette's been in the line before. 7450. This is the lumber jacket. This is fully reversible and fully featured in the reverse. So your Melton wool on the one side with black buttons, really nice. Great Melton wool pieces are awesome for the West Coast uh, and like those shoulder seasons kind of in the Midwest. Uh, keeps you warm, keeps the wind off you. Melton wool is antimicrobial uh, by its nature. It won't hold on to scent. Uh, it does mean you can't throw it in the wash. It needs to be, if you're in a real pinch, it can be uh, dry cleaned. But in general, you actually just sort of hang it up outside and it will get rid of any funk it could possibly pick up because the it just can't live in melting mold. Uh, full cotton flannel on the reverse. And when I say it's fully featured, it does have pockets and the obviously the zipper reverses and it has branding on the inside as well. So seventy four fifty for two jackets wholesale. One hundred fifty, one hundred sixty, I'd say even one fifty nine retail. Just that great stripe that we saw before. Oh, I skipped one. Excuse me. We actually need this the trench. I mentioned that we had this house to check. Uh, trench coat styling, 50% wool, 50% polyester, and 100% cotton flannel lined. This is $79.50, the Brooklyn plaid trench. Very nice. This trench style did really well last fall. I know, unfortunately, a lot of people didn't get shipped their fall orders. Banks apologizes. They had a technical error, but that won't happen again because I'm hounding them to make sure everything gets entered. This is a very nice piece, and as I said, I know this uh, silhouette performed very well last fall. I think uh, that's why they brought it back, because they know they can move it. So. $26.50 Plateau uh, Polo. Same pocket detail there with the embroidery of the heart, the heart logo. Nice blue collar quarter button pull up. Uh, striped sock. Borderline. For $24.50 for the capture tee. These are great. Essentially no branding other than the little flag on the hemline. That's it. Sixty fifty for the feature jacket. Hundred percent nylon and satin lined. This has actually a quilted lining. Snap closure. And drawstring for adjusting the hemline. <clears throat> uh, the Revelator sock is a carryover. Also 10 for 22. Momentum long sleeve woven, 55.50. Uh, this is fantastic. 100% cotton flannel, 
This is a uh, flannel, excuse me. This is also a uh, quilted line, quilted. This piece got turned a lot. I could see it being on uh, more than half my orders will have this order on it for sure. So nice. Just like a great black and red. Love this herringbone. Forty-three fifty for the uh, oblivious long sleeve woven. Yeah, brass herringbone wool blend. Forty percent wool, eight percent poly. I actually really like the oversized buttons on this piece. Forty-three fifty. Installation, please. This thing is 100% poly Sherpa. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Um, it is the reverse of that poly Sherpa, so keep that in mind. Uh, definitely not a piece you're wearing with nothing else on. It would be a little itchy, but just love it. Love that the detail on the yoke is there, even though it's that's just like a fuse line that they've done to do that. Same on the shoulder. Great price too, actually, forty-three fifty. And toops. So that's the drown beanie for twenty-two. And these are called made made for beanie, also twenty-two. Another the carryover sock there, the highway sock. Warped T, 22. Great wash on this piece. There's your matching fleece, 41. I only have the one color of the supply short. Um, this is half elastic, so the rear of the waistline is elastic. The front is fixed. So the fits are a little bit more generous, uh, would be what I'd say. It is still pant sized. I typically wear like a 32, and this I could almost wear a 30 um, based on having that elastic, because I do find that they're quite loose. Uh, on my black ones, I'll uh, sometimes, on the 32s I have, I wear a belt. So keep that in mind. Pleats are very much still happening in men's fashion uh, and bottoms. So we're seeing that in our pants and in our shorts. That one's 38.50. I love these washed. Dirty blacks. This is excellent. Shows up really well. Doesn't show up well in the catalog. 22. I only have the one color, but I really like and all the pieces in this blank are excellent. Your neck, or excuse me, <laughs> hoodie to match. No hit on the back there. And it's 41. So this guy is the sand on walk short. The difference between this and the previous one is this is full elastic waist, button, and zip. And also is pant size. 98% cotton, 2% spandex. Great walk short. Now, last two pieces. Actually, three, because there's one hiding. Um, supply herringbone pant is here. Okay, so supply pant. 
completed. 4350. It's a chino style piece. Not as cropped as uh, some of the pieces are about to see. This is a straight elastic. It doesn't have the fixed at the front. It is just like the short we just looked at. Here's your supply herringbone pant. So matches the supply in pattern, but not color. Straight elastic. Apache pant, this is new. This is a slim fit, half elastic, just like one of those previous board shorts. So elastic in the back, fixed in the front, pleated front, and is a, not a heavy crop. Yeah, it's a crop fit, chino style, slightly fitted. Also 4350, in fact, all of these are 4350. And then last but not least, there's a corduroy pant that I passed that was out of place. So it's right here. Uh, bop, 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 bop. No, never mind. I skipped it, excuse me. Yeah, downtown corduroy pant. That's That actually comes before the Apache pant, excuse me. Um, yeah, this is a thick whale cord pant. This is the most cropped piece in the men's bottoms. Everything is covered in like 4350. So that was it. Um, <clears throat> lots of time for orders actually. I thought the deadline was end of the month here, um, but I have until at 15, which is great. Um, yeah. Thanks very much for watching. Any questions, hit me back, js at waydangerous.com. And uh, yeah, thanks for your business.